cosmic rays could be used to reveal the secrets contained within the burial site of China's first emperor. Here's what you need to know. The insides of the mysterious mausoleum of the first emperor of a unified China, Qing Shi Huang, could be illuminated by cosmic rays, according to the Times of London, which cites a proposal in the journal Acta Physica Sinica. The site has never been fully excavated and has famously been guarded for 2,000 years by its terracotta army. The new proposal seeks to take advantage of cosmic rays that interact with Earth's atmosphere and shower us with subatomic particles. It suggests detectors installed below the burial site could measure the rate at which one type of particle, called muons, are absorbed and provide a clear picture of the area hidden beneath the ground. Historical accounts, which suggest the burial chamber is surrounded by rivers of mercury, have stoked intrigue around the site, as well as popular movies like The Mummy, which features the terracotta army. The proposed technique for revealing that chamber has already been used to reveal the presence of a previously hidden, 98-foot-long chamber within the Great Pyramid at Giza. Archaeologists have discovered the remains of a 4,000-year-old lost city on a ridge above China's Two-Way River that flourished from 2300 BC to 1800 BC and at one point encompassed an area of 988 acres. Researchers found a massive steppe pyramid that is at least 230 feet high and stretches 59 anchors at its base and published the results in Journal Antiquity. Researchers have named the city Shimao. The pyramid was built out of a lowest hill and had 11 steps tapering as they ascend. It was guarded by an inner and outer wall. According to the researchers, atop the pyramid were extensive palaces built of rammed earth with wooden pillars and roofing tiles, a gigantic water reservoir, and domestic remains related to daily life. Ancient cities with complex urban landscapes have been found beneath the jungle in Cambodia by researchers using laser scanners. Archaeologists have discovered a vast network of previously undocumented medieval cities near Cambodia's Angkor Wat Temple using LIDAR scanning technology. The researchers found multiple cities beneath the jungle that were linked by roads and canals. The cities range from 900 to 1,400 years old and would have been part of the largest empire on Earth in the 12th century. LIDAR is a detection system similar to radar, which uses lasers instead of radio waves. It is used with GPS to produce 3D models and maps. A helicopter mounted with LIDAR scanned a 734-square-mile area near Angkor Wat in 2015. The data revealed the true scale of the lost city of Mehendraparvata, which was previously believed to be much smaller. In fact, Mehendraparvata was about the same size as Cambodia's present capital of Phnom Penh. The scans show the ancient cities had sophisticated water management systems, built hundreds of years before it was believed the technology existed. Geometric shapes thought to be gardens were also discovered. Historians say the groundbreaking discovery will help us understand more about Angkorian civilization and the decline of the Khmer Empire. A nearly 100-foot-long void was discovered inside the Great Pyramid in Giza, just above the 153-foot-long Grand Gallery. The void was detected using cosmic ray muons, which are high-energy particles that shower the Earth. Muons pass through empty spaces easily, but can be absorbed or deflected by dense materials like solid rock. Three different muography technologies used to measure muons in the pyramid all detected the same void in the same position. Researchers speculate that the void could be one large empty space, or several small ones, possibly used to relieve pressure on the chambers below. French researchers are developing a blimp-like drone in order to explore a newly discovered hidden chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza. The robotic drone is designed to squeeze through a 1.5-inch wide hole before unfolding and inflating on a docking station. The blimp model was chosen over conventional multi-rotor drones because it's safer for the surrounding environment during exploration. The drone can make contact with obstacles without damaging the monument. They are also more stable, which is important for taking photos in low-light conditions. An altar containing a pot of human ashes was found near a square in Mexico City. Archaeologists say it dates back to near the end of the Aztec Empire, the BBC reports. Archaeologists with Mexico's National Institute for Anthropology and History also found 13 intricately decorated incense burners carefully placed in what they say was the courtyard area of a family home, where they explained the inhabitants would have held a ritual to bear witness to the ending of a cycle of their lives and their civilization. The altar dates to the time of the Spanish conquest. The house itself was located in one quarter of the Aztec city of Tenochtitlan, according to the American Post. 
and would also have been made up of a large room which was connected by a corridor to five smaller rooms, one of which is believed to be a kitchen, according to the BBC. National Geographic reports that researchers have uncovered an ancient 800-square-mile Mayan megacity in northern Guatemala. Archaeologists used light detection and ranging technology, more commonly called LIDAR, to uncover the area. According to the National Ocean Service, LIDAR is a remote sensing method that uses a combination of light, aircraft and pulse lasers to measure and visualize 3D structures. This lets them remove the surrounding environment to show the scale of the interconnected area. Researchers found some 60,000 structures and said the area was home to millions of people. Deforestation in the Amazon has uncovered at least 81 geoglyphs, or trenches carved into the ground. They were spotted on satellite images of Brazil's upper Tapajos Basin. The geoglyphs come in a range of different shapes and sizes and are believed to date back centuries from the years 2050 to 1500. Archaeologists examined several locations and found fragments of pottery, stone axes, and fertile dark earth indicative of a long-term human settlement. Researchers used models to estimate that between 1,000 to 1,500 wooden settlements were built in the southern rim of the Amazon alone, housing 500,000 to a million people. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.